What's going on everybody and welcome to part 9 of our unconventional neural network series. In this part we're going to be wrapping up the deep dream and uh, creating a video from the frames of our deep dream. So what we can see here is that we've got about uh, 127 frames and, and exemplified here is what I was talking about where it slowly gets darker and darker. Uh, it generally, uh, you know, you can just probably add three here or four and we probably could have combat that. But anyway, I was just trying to show a really quick example, so I didn't really bother worrying about it too much. But that's a it at least exemplifies what I was talking about. So now what we're going to do is write some code to convert these frames to video. So I'm going to go ahead and just do new file, uh, I don't know, dream underscore video dot pi. Yes. And let's open in Sublime. And I'm just gonna move this. Someone let me know how I can clear it. Like, how do I get rid of this? Open, I know there's like a way to like change maybe to the con, let's see, hide panel. Hey, there it is. <laughs> nice, all right. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, CV2 just cause we've already been using it. I'm gonna import OS. And now we're going to specify the name of the dream, at least in my case, that's Starry Night. The Starry Night, that is. And then Dream um, dream Path, uh, we'll put as, and in fact, I'm not even sure we need, I guess we'll, we'll continue. Probably don't even actually need to define a Dream Path, but whatever. So it'll be Dream, and then we'll use some string formatting, and then dot .format, uh, Dream Name. So now this will be for the codec part. Um, it depends on your, if you're on Windows or Linux. So if you're on Windows, uh, the codec that you would use here would be for CC equals CV2 dot uh, video writer underscore for CC. And then it's asterisk X vid. And if you were on Linux, it would be Linux, uh, rather than this, it's MJPG, right? But all in separate quotes. Not really sure here. M J P G. Uh, if you run Linux, which I'm not right now, so boom. Now, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to specify where do we want this stuff to go. Okay, here you go. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> making the linter happy. Out equals cv2 dot video writer, and then we'll just say something dot avi dot format whatever the dream name is. Uh, we're gonna use the 4cc whatever that happens to be. Then you're gonna specify how many frames per second you want. I'm gonna go with like 20 because we have so few. But the the more obviously you have, the smoother it is. It also depends on what how quickly you're zooming in and how big your overall image is. So on like a 1080p image, um, at the rate that we're zooming in, you can easily do 60 frames a second for like super smooth. Uh, but it really just depends. If you did what we just did here at 60 frames a second, it's like a real, it's a pretty quick zoom. Uh, and then finally the size, ours is at 800 by 450. It has to match the input. If it doesn't match the input, it's going to get angry with you. Um, okay. So this will produce a 20 frames per second, 800 by 450 video. Now for I in range of basically however many you have, I'll just throw in a some sort of number here. Um, if os.path.is file, um, basically what we're going to do is, because um, we need it, we need to know what the length of our dream is. <laughs> so I guess we're kind of, let's see if we can just t take this code. Cause I think that's basically what we're doing. Uh, so it should just be like the exact same logic I'm doing here. I'm sure somebody can come up with some better logic than this. If you do, just go ahead and just share it with us. Um, else, uh, we're going to say dream length equals whatever that I is, and then we'll break. All we were trying to figure out is how how long that dream is. That's it. Um, do we still have any here? No. So at this point, now what we want to do is for I in range of whatever that dream length is, uh, we're going to build 
the frames of our CV2 writer, video writer. So we're going to say image path equals os.path.join, and we're going to join the dream path. And then basically it's that it was image underscore whatever the number is dot JPEG. Uh, and then dot format whatever I is. So that's the path to the actual image itself. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and print the image path just so we know where we are along the way. Uh, then what we're going to go ahead and do is the frame itself is equal to cv2.imread whatever that image path is. And then finally, we're going to out.write uh, the frame. And then when we're all done out.release, it's like closing the file after you've done uh, after you've been done modifying it. So let's go ahead and run that see if we have errors. Looks like it's already done. Let's move this out of the way. Should make starry night.avi. Double click on that. And sure enough, there is our deep dream going at 20 frames per second and getting dark pretty quickly. Okay, and this is the other one. And basically, I just have it going one, basically th all through all of the different layers at a time. And, uh, and then I'll just I'll do the outro as that plays. Also, I'll probably put this as a standalone video. Uh, I don't really know yet. I'll put a link in the description if I do. Um, otherwise, yeah. So uh, that's it with the deep dreaming. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, whatever on deep dreaming, uh, feel free to leave them below. If you've got fixes for the various things that we, we did and changed and all that, uh, you can let me know. Uh, like the stuff like the, the ranges through like 9999 just to figure out where we should start from. I'm sure there's a, a better, more logical way. I just, I figure like if you're going to go through, like you would, you would go through the directories. So like no matter what, you're going to be iterating through a, a list. So I'm not really sure if there's a truly a more efficient way or not, but I'd be curious about some, some sort of more Pythonic way than the way I've done it there. Um, anyway. Um, I think that's it in the next, in the coming tutorials, what we're going to be focusing on is we're going to kind of change gears into doing math with uh, neural networks, which you, typically a neural network is generally better at doing like nonlinear tasks, whereas um, in, in, in like typically machines and programs are very good at doing linear things like math, but deep learning is not so good at deep at, at linear things because it's actually looking for nonlinear relationships, or at least that's what it's good at. So doing something like math, which is highly linear in most cases, uh, is not an easy thing for a neural network. Um, but if we could get a neural network to do math, especially maybe even some of the nonlinear forms of math, um, that could be pretty interesting. So anyways, uh, that's what we're going to be doing in the coming tutorials is trying to get neural networks to do math. Uh, but if you have any questions on deep dreaming and all of that, you can feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, you can stay tuned for the release of uh, this one whenever it's finally done. I am on the final layer. This is the final layer. As you can see, there's a lot going on there. Um, but it's probably going to take a little longer uh, just to finish all of that because uh, these are going so slow. Once you get that deep into the layers, um, they process super slow. But anyways, um, that's what you guys have to look forward to. If you're enjoying the content, you can support at pythonprogram.net slash support. If you've got questions, comments, concerns, whatever tips about better ways to have written the code, uh, you can leave your comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you in the coming tutorials where we write hopefully a neural network that can sort of understand math and then do things like uh, try to break encryption and all that kind of fun stuff. So that's what you guys have to look forward to. I will see you in another video.